Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbird. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Through Night Saber. It's a single AA powered everyday carry flashlight. You can find this selling on Amazon for $19.99. This had a 15% off promo. If I have the code, I'll put it below, bringing the price down to $17. Not bad for a AA powered flashlight that comes with a 14500 battery. Yeah, very nice. So let's take a look at the box. Saber, pretty simple, white box. They have a cool white and a neutral white. I got both, so we're gonna show both and see the differences. There you go, pretty simple. Took everything out of the box, show you what's in there. So in the box, we get a charging cable. USB to Type-C. We get the star of the show, the Saber through night. There you go. Yeah, it's nice, nice size. Um, again, being a AA powered, uh, they can keep it compact. Uh, they did a good job with this one. I'm pretty happy. Uh, and explain some of the things that make it uh, unique among the competition out there. So there's that. And of course we have the instructions, which I like to go over for posterity. We'll do that right now. So yeah, you get a fold-out pamphlet, of course. That's through night style. There's Saber illustration, contact information. Okay, over here it says Saber Everyday Carry LED flashlight adopts high-performance LED, which is a luminous SST20, to make an output of 659 lumens with a max beam distance of 141 meters. Now that is a pretty substantial number on a AA-powered flashlight. Not bad at all. Uh, and that's what really makes it stand out. There's some technical parameters, which I'll cover. And of course you got modes, pretty basic, high, low. You can see tested with the included 14500 battery. And then of course tested with a nickel metal hydride battery, your high and low. In case I missed a number there, there you are for all time. And over here we have operation, very simple. There's a momentary tail switch, uh, click it on, click it off, or just tap uh, lightly to hold it on and hold it off, it's pretty interesting. And charging the battery is pretty simple. It has a built-in USB port right on the battery itself. And then you get to your warranty. Okay, we're done with that, sweet. It's pretty simple. All right, so let's go ahead and go over dimensions of the Saber. So we're gonna just kinda get nice close up and personal, bring it on down, see how close I can get. All right, nice. So dimensions, we have three and three quarters of an inch or 95 millimeters. We have a head diameter of 11 sixteenths of an inch or 17 millimeters. And then we have a tail diameter of three quarters, three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters. It's actually thicker towards the back. If you can see that when I hold it, you see the tail is slightly thicker here on that back end. Definitely can see it there. Cool. Uh, and wondered that in the uh, write up because it said the head diameter was the, the base diameter. And I think they kind of had it switched up. So let's go ahead and uh, do a size comparison and bring this back up. All right, our uh, weight is 56 grams with the battery, not bad. Similar to like the old lights in that. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is show you pretty much uh, battery. So yeah, double A battery, gives you an idea for size comparison. And I think uh, ubiquitous 18650 flat top, that'll work for most people. You have these items, there you go general idea. And I'm going to show some competition in this video. We have the Pokey Lit AA. Um, this comes as a 14500 cell. It's a really good competitor against the Saber. Um, this was out before it. Uh, this one has a few extra modes um, and runs on, it comes with a 14500, also runs in AA well, as well. So it's cross compatible with both battery types, which is nice. And then we have kind of an outlier, the Olight i5T, um, a great AA powered flashlight, does not run on a 14500 cell, only on alkalines or nickel metal hydride, um, but it provides a nice beam and high build quality. So I figured these will be good ones to show off and uh, give you an idea, uh, competition, what's out there and what you can spend your money on. So, all right, cool. So it goes away. All right, so we're talking about features of the Saber real quick. So on the front here, we have a TAR lens made of acrylic. Yeah, pretty basic. Now that lens really provides good throw. Uh, when I first turned this on, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like this because the beam, let's show you, was a pretty tight beam. Uh, like an Olight here, if I 
turn it on, it's kind of dispersed. See how dispersed that is? And then here you got this hot spot. So if I can get that to show you. See, there you go. Um, so yeah, it's really tight. I don't know if I like that. Well, I do like it because it's perfect for outdoors. Um, if you're out there and you're uh, needing a backup because your main failed, uh, you know, I usually carry something like this here, 18650 through night, TC15. I like this for everyday carry. Um, yeah, if it failed, I at least I have something that has some throw to it uh, when I'm walking. So a great outdoor light, a backup. So think of it like that, not like a close-up inspection light because it does have this high intensity beam, which you'll see in some of the pictures I took. So yeah, there, and then of course down in there, the LED I told you was the Luminous SST20 in neutral white. And I do have the cool white version here. And when I turn the lights off, we will uh, show you the difference in color temperature. Though they're very close, this one definitely is more bluish white. And this is more, of course, warmer than the other. All right, cool. Uh, so then of course the body is your typical aircraft uh, aluminum alloy. And it's 6061 T6. And it is a Type 3 hard anodized finish. Yeah, again, basic through night stuff, but not bad. It's better than painted. I think there's some cheaper flashlights out there that actually say painted. <laughs> so it's nice. It's anodized treatment. We got a hat belt clip. Very good addition. You know, for inexpensive flashlight, not bad at all. Um, so yeah, and you got your tail switch, which I was trying to show you there. So you have the momentary, which is nice. So I think it always starts in low, and it goes to high. So low, high. And you can just momentary do this and not make any noise or barely any it's a pretty substantial switch it's, it takes quite a bit to turn on in your pocket i don't think it's going to it takes a lot to click it on so i think you'll be okay carrying it um so yeah it's heavy spring in that tail switch it's not very easy to to bump uh so yeah and then when you click it on of course you can keep clicking it to cycle too if you want there's that. But in the dark, it always starts on low, which is some some people like that. And there are other flashlights that like to always start on high, but this one only gives you the option of starting on low because there is no mode memory. So just keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, there's that. They're uh, pretty simple. Again, there's no electronic lockout. It's just a nice tight tail switch there. So uh, it's IPX8 waterproof, which is 2 meters, 30 minutes underwater. Not bad. Drop resistance of 100 100 feet yeah right <laughs> one and a half meters yeah 100 feet that would be interesting be like oh i bet you if it hit landed on something soft to be fine <laughs> hope so yeah front yeah some of these flashlights are from the back this is from the front so i want to show you the battery here it's a type c rechargeable 14500 so with a 920 milliamp hour capacity not bad you plug it in the front lights up red showing it's charging and when it's done, it's green. So yeah, very basic, and I like it. I'm glad it came with it. You know, it's always nice not to buy batteries. Batteries included, and it's rechargeable. So you'll be using that for quite a while. Um, yeah, definitely nice. And if you don't need that extreme brightness, you can always put a standard, like like a high-capacity nickel metal hydride battery in there and have lower settings, um, easier on the eyes if you are trying to do something more close-up. So, But for outdoor, outdoor, outdoor carry, I'll be using the lithium battery for sure for the extra throw because it provides the higher output so yeah there's the battery um when i was using this the light does provide uh, produce excuse me a yellow halo ring around it's so, like when i'm doing work like you can't really see it here but i don't know if i see with the lights off but right here is like a yellowish tint so if you're on a white surface if that bothers you um the cool whites actually doesn't show up as much but a neutral white i noticed you have nice neutral center with this yellow ring around that neutral center again not a big deal from outside walking but if you're particular you might want to know about that so yeah all right so let's go ahead to the garage where i took some pictures of this in action and uh yeah we'll see how it goes so let's go take a look so here i am in the garage 15 feet away from the garage door running the 14500 battery that it came with uh, it's on high this is 659 lumens Expect a runtime of three minutes before it throttles down, and it'll run the rain, remainder of the battery out at 276 lumens for one and a half hours. With this battery, it does have a throw of 141 meters, hence the bright spot. Uh, next, we're on low. This is 57 lumens with the 14500. Expect a runtime of 19 hours. Not bad. And then the last picture here, I took a picture of like working on the wheel. 
This is six feet away. It's on low, that 57 lumen rating. And 19 hours is plenty of time to get something done with the vehicle. All right, back to the bench. Yeah, so we'll do a bench demo here. Just want to let you know, like, yeah, with the regular battery, if you put like a double A nickel metal hydride, like this guy in there, you're going to get 235 lumens on high, hour and a quarter runtime, and then on low, 24 lumens for 14 hours. So not bad um, to have 24 lumens as a low. So it's a very simple, basic two-mode flashlight, which I kind of like um, for that respect. So let's go ahead and we're going to compare it to first, I want to show you the color differences between the cool white and the neutral white. And then we're going to face it off against the pokey light, AA. And I might even bring in the i5T. Before I start, I probably should give you some information about the pokey light. Uh, you can find these uh, for between 20 to 30 bucks and sometimes on sale for $17. So very close competitor to that light. This has uh, a few modes to it. Uh, it has uh, three modes actually. It has a high, medium, low. It's high as 550 lumens. It's throw is 86 meters. So big difference in throw there. If you heard that, 86 versus the 141. Big difference. So this is a better outdoor backup. This is more of an indoor light. So that's something to think about. Um, of course, it throttles down to 330 real quick um, on high. Medium is 190 lumens for two and a half hours. And it has a low mode, five lumens for 50 hours, which is nice. And that's what the 14500 cell. If you put a double A, the whole thing changes. And it even has lower modes as well, similar to the Saber. But there you go, it comes with the 14500. So not bad. The colored ones like this sometimes go on sale for as low as 20 bucks. This orange, I think, currently retails for around 30. Give you an idea. And of course, and then you have the i5T, which I'll bring up. Uh, the old light, pretty flashlight. I like this. Uh, currently, it's $25 for Amazon Prime, guys. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, they usually retail around 30. Um, really high quality build, but again, just runs on standard batteries. It doesn't quite have the luminosity as the others, but it's high as 300 lumens, uh, and it's lowest, or it's, it throttles down to 30 lumens uh, for a total runtime of two and a half hours on high, and it's a 60 meter throw. So it's definitely more inspection style light, and it does have a low setting, 15 lumens for 20 hours on a standard battery. So I'll give you an idea there. It does not run on 14500s. All right, cool. So. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and have some fun. So I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, turn these on. Let's see if I can just... Got to use two hands here. Click these on. So yeah, the neutral white should be on my right and the cool white on my left. And we should see a difference. Let's go ahead and turn these off. Okay, now RFI, if you're a tuner like me, these do generate noise. Um, if you're close to the radio, you're not going to be able to listen to your radio. So probably won't use these when you're tuning your radio, especially if you have a larger one that's very sensitive. So we'll bring these in to get the color difference. Let's see if you can see it or not. Okay, it's pretty intense. I'm going to try to bring it off the table a little bit. Okay, so we'll bring in this one. It's, there's a neutral white, cool white. So they're very close. Um, the one on my left is definitely blue, more blue. Doing on high. Yeah, we're not going to see the difference on high. We'll go back to low. Okay, low. There we are. Clicking it on. Bring it in. Okay, there's a new neutral white. Cool white. So yeah, it's it's, it's kind of subtle difference. Uh, in person, this looks just a slight tint of a yellow to it. And this, of course, is more of a bluish tint. Okay, so yeah, it's just your thing. Uh, the cool white's going to have a little bit more throw as well versus the neutral white. Neutral white may have a little bit more color rendering to it. Just slight. Okay, cool. So let's actually sh show some competitors. So there's your cool white saber. Nice. So now we're going to bring in the Pokemon. Now this one's going to have to go in high intensity because its low is pretty low. That, that's its five lumens right there. It's high CRI, by the way. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn it on a little higher. There we go. So we'll bring that in. Get an idea. Now it's got the spill here. It's got a spot and a spill. So the through night's all about the spot, as you can tell there. Uh, color rendering, yeah, the Pokelet does a better job, as you can see there. Can't bring them in and out through night here, Pokelet here. Um, but yeah, it's got a traditional reflector in it. That's why it has that spill edge to it, which I'm kind of a fan of. But again, the throw is not as intense as the through night. So awesome. But uh, there you go. Not bad. Um, it just depends on your needs. 
you know, which, which one do you want? And of course now we're going to the Olight, which is definitely more cool white. Um, we're going to bring that up to its high. There we go. Definitely more dispersed so to kind of bring it in so you can see the difference in colors. Definitely more cool white to it in person here. I don't know if I turn this one up on high, I'd be able to see the difference better. Nope. Okay. Well, it gives you a general idea. But this is the old light on high. Not bad. Very dispersed beam. As you can see, you got your spot and it's really softened edge with those optics. And through night, pretty much a little bit of an edge to it, but mostly spot. There's the, yeah, quite a bit going on there and just a little bit of edge to this one and an all spot. All right, so that's the, the old light. All right, cool. So I5T. So there we are. Yeah, and like I said, with the radio, um, let me turn this on. You can hear uh, the flashlight. That's any mode. So I would, this is about a foot away, foot and a half away. So it definitely has RFI to it. So if you're tuning in, you probably don't want that through night. Probably want a different flashlight. Okay, let's turn this back on and we'll do final thoughts. Go ahead and turn this off. Awesome. All right. So yeah, we go we got our cars here. Turn this off here. Getting kind of warm. Nice. So yeah, final thoughts on the through night saber. Uh, is it a deal? There's a lot of competition going on here. Um, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, bring out the uh, contenders again. The ace beam. You know, you got your uh, Olight here, i5T, Voculet. Okay, so, yeah, these go on sale. Uh, you know, and it's not a bad light. I really like it. I like the Ace Beam. I've been pretty much promoting this uh, day one and uh, pretty happy with it. I've been using it since day one. But as you can see, the reflector, it's a standard smooth reflector. That's why you get that nice spill in the hot spot center. Great for inspections and a little bit of throw while you're walking. Um, Olight's definitely all inspection. It's got a really short optics there. Uh, compared to the through nights through nights is a little bit more deep as you can see um, that's why you get more of a dispersed beam with the olight versus the through night through nights got more of that uh, throw for sure um, well than that so it depends uh, and budget wise the saber is your best deal um, unless the ace beam's on sale uh, this like i said is around 17 bucks right now if you just need a utilitarian uh, and you need throw and you want some outdoor backup the through night saber is the one to get if you want a step up in quality and you don't need the 14500 cell and you just have your own AA batteries, the Olight. If you want high CRI and you want more modes um, and you want it for a few bucks more uh, and it comes to the 14500, go with the Ace Beam. Um, just depends on what you need. Outdoors, uh, outdoor indoor probably, you can call the Ace Beam and then mainly indoor uh, the Olight because it's, uh, I mean you could use it outdoors just not for throwing any distance while you're walking the saber is going to be your best choice if you're looking for a backup for outdoor walk. Uh, but overall, um, quite a bit to choose from. I'd still be uh, with the saber for outdoors. And then, of course, for all around use, I'd probably use the Ace Beam and the Olight um, as probably a good gift for somebody um, who pretty much uses it to look in their car for something or you know, around the house. Uh, this makes a great flashlight because it's a very dispersed beam. So there you are. So hopefully I helped you out there. Saber does get a big vote when it's under 20 bucks. Rock on. I'm glad they came out with this because uh, they've been going with these flashlights uh, without rechargeable or replaceable batteries. And this now has replaceable battery and rechargeable as well. Uh, so that's nice. Good to see. All right, through night, you rock. Rock on. <laughs> Two, uh, if you like through night products and you like their flashlights, I try to get a, the new models all the time i'll uh, make sure to subscribe at the bell icon get notified of future videos and maybe if you want to see this compared to other flashlights as well and three uh comment below what you think about the new saber is this something you'd like um i do like the design i like the minimalistic uh, style here not too fancy it gets the job done I like the tail switch um optics are nice for throw so yeah it's uh definitely uh good in its category yeah let me know guys all right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.